everyone and welcome or welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be preparing for a new hamster by setting up my 75 gallon tank. As you may know, unfortunately my Syrian hamster Trixie passed away back in March and I've been taking a lot of time to heal and just get stuff together, kind of get ready for another hamster and I did wait a while until I felt ready for another one because Trixie was so special and it was just really hard losing her so suddenly when she was so young. It was really, really sad, but I am very happy to be getting another hamster. I am in no way replacing Trixie. When you get a new animal, you really shouldn't look at it as replacing your old one. I look at this as an opportunity to rescue yet another hamster and give it the best, most loving life ever. And that really makes me happy that I can take a new ham into our home. So I'm very excited for that. I will be adopting this hamster this Saturday, which is quite soon. It's currently Monday. I set up the cage just yesterday and I'm going to finish everything up probably about Thursday. So it's all coming together really nicely and I can't wait for you to see it. Let's just get into the video and I'm super excited. All right, so here's the empty 75 gallon tank. I've thoroughly cleaned this entire thing twice, so it should be nice and sanitized. I also sanitized all of the items that I'm reusing to be super, super careful about that so everything is nice and clean. I'm just gonna start by putting all the bedding in, so let's hop into a time lapse. Like right here and then I'm just gonna kind of go along with it and put stuff wherever I think it fits so I tried to get a good angle of this it was really hard so I apologize if you can't see like what's going on over here but I will show you everything in full after we're done
time this is by no means done because I still have to add a lot of little things before we actually get the hammy here obviously we'll have food and water on the day that the hammy arrives and I want to add a bunch of herbs and sprays in here but I won't be doing that until later this week because I still do need to sort out a couple things here I want to get some pillow moss if I can Unfortunately, my local pet stores stopped selling pillow moss, so I might need to order that. Just a couple little things, but overall this went really well. This is a process I really do like, that's why I film it every time. I love setting up hamster cages and just kind of getting creative with it, finding little nooks and crannies that I can fit stuff into, making some nice little safe places for them to hide and climb over, and just putting all the enrichment and everything in. It's a process that I really, really enjoy, like truly. It makes me so happy. It's a lot of hard work. It's almost 1 p.m. I've been doing this for hours, but I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy making my hamsters happy, and I'm so excited to have our little hammy explore. And I know that he or she is going to absolutely love it once this is all done. So I will bring you back in once I'm ready to finish this all off for real. And yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, I'm back. It is Thursday and I'm officially ready to finish this thing. So I got some moss from Night Angel. I figured this would be good because it's completely hamster safe. You don't have to worry about like bugs or bacteria or anything like that. And I'm also going to put in some forage, herb sprays, just a bunch of little fun things and make sure this cage is completely ready for our new hammy. So let's get into it and let's finish this. off camera because the ring light was getting a little hot also Maggie is in my room right now so if you hear any dog sniffing that's just her but yeah it was getting a little hot in here the AC in this room isn't working very well so I have to keep it as cool as I can but now I'm gonna go through everything I just added so you can see I added a couple whimsies I added these four lollipops there's one here and there's one there and then I just added some millet, let me find it, some millet and oat sprays all around. Here's some oat spray over here. So I'm going to give an overview of the whole cage. You can see there's a bunch of forage and herbs. I don't have the seed mix or water in here yet, but of course when the hamster gets here, we will do all of that. For now, this cage is complete. I'm pretty happy with it. There's a bunch of enrichment and we can always add more depending on what the hammy likes i don't want to go too crazy overboard just yet because i don't even know what hamster i'm getting i just know i'm getting a syrian 
And all Syrians are completely different. So depending on their personality, they might like or not like certain things in here. A bunch of variety to kind of test out what he or she is going to like. So I think this all came together really well. And I think our little hammy is going to enjoy it. And that is it for this video. Again, just a couple more days until I'll be filming the next video, which will be meeting my new hammy. I don't know exactly what hamster I'm going to end up with, but whatever one I do end up with, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. So I'm so excited to take you along this journey and I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, whatever it may be. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.